Hey guys, it's Robert. I have a buttload of boxes to unbox for you today in this product roundup. Um, some of these are right on time and some of these are a little bit late. I wanted to make sure I had a good group of them to unbox for you and also um, Funny enough, I had some back problems that were preventing me from recording recently. It's funny that something so simple could actually be a little bit taxing on the body, but it can. Um, tonight I'm feeling not too bad, so I figured I would try to get it done for you. Um, but I have a lot of different things here. So this should be a fairly long video with lots of different stuff to check out. So, first thing here is a uh, is the raw spice bar. I'll tell you all about all of these. Um, this is one you haven't seen yet. The rest of these you actually have seen at some point in time. So there's the raw spice bar. We have a Try the World Holiday Edition. We have a, actually two different Flaviar. Um, boxes, which are liquor and a loot crate. And that's the October loot crate, so I'm a little bit late on that one. So, let's start with the new one, and then we'll go through the rest. Sound good? So this is the Raw Spice Bar. It's a really interesting subscription package. I guess it's not really a box. This is one that's a bit cheaper. It's less expensive than the others, and they do that on purpose. Um, Raw Spice Bar is a company that gives you spices for cooking, and they try to inspire you to make different sorts of things by giving you unique spices and things like that with the idea that maybe you'll see something you like and add it to your arsenal. So let's uh, open up the package. It's it's minimal, you know, it's just a brown package and it has raw spice bar right there. And inside is just a few more packages and a little guide. So these are obviously the spices that we have. So we have the, and please excuse my pronunciation, um, this is the Kaffir Lime Blend, the Sambal, I don't know how to say that, Olek, maybe? and Malaysian laksa spices. So, obviously I'm not a native of any of these places. And of course, information and links to the spice, raw spice bar are in the description to this video, just like all the other boxes. So it comes with some cooking tips and stuff like that. So, the Malaysian spices. Okay, so this is all Malaysian spices, actually. This is the Malaysian spice box, which is the box for October. This is, I believe, a monthly subscription box, so it has um, all kinds of different geographical representations. So, um, let me read a little bit of this here. It says the Malaysian spice box. Indian, Chinese, and Thai cuisines have a firm foothold as established food cultures, but for many, the Malaysian food scene is a bit of an unknown. It talks a bit about um, 
the formation of Malaysian cuisine, um, some of the typical things you might see in, um, in the area, like steamed fish with ingredients like lemongrass, curries, fresh herbs, bright flavors, um, lots of different techniques integrated, sort of melting pot flavor. Um, it says this month we partnered with Caroline Artis for our Malaysian curry lo loxa recipes and spice blends. She is a trained chef who specializes in Malaysian and Asian fusion. So they have a YouTube channel for that person. YouTube.com slash user slash Caroline Artists with two S's. And then they have more stuff available at Raw Spice Bar slash October dash Malaysian dash Spice. So there's a few different um, recipes here. Curry laksa. In each of these recipes integrate the spices that you have here. So that uses this one here. So this has um, coriander, turmeric, lemongrass, um, galangal, which I don't know what that is, black peppercorns, cumin, fennel, star anise, cardamom, and miscellaneous spices. So it has allergy information on there, which is nice. Um, it says many families in Malaysia have their own secret recipes for curry powder which are often passed on for generation, generations. Each recipe is a bit different. Ours is a blend of coriander and turmeric combined with the citrusy flavor of lemongrass and earthy notes of galangal for creating a traditional Malaysian laksa. So that's that one. And then there are also recipes for these other things. Sambal Olek Let's see what that one's all about Spicy hot blend of ground chilies is used all over Indonesia and Malaysia, both as a condiment and to form the base of curry and rice dishes. Freshly ground chilies from, form the base of this paste, which is created with the addition of vinegar, lime, garlic, and salt to taste. So this is made of freshly ground chili peppers, cayenne pepper, palm sugar, and paprika. That could be pretty useful, actually, I think, whether you're making Malaysian cuisine or not. And then the last one is the kefir lime blend, and it has a little lime salad there to make with it. So this one is basically like a paste that you use for a lot of different things. This is a lime salad, and then the other one is a just a curry. I really like these sort of culinary boxes. They give a good chance to, or a good opportunity to like try different things. Um, the Try the World box and other boxes like this have broadened our perspective here about, you know, uh, different things we could make. In particular, the Try the World box from um, Morocco was really good. The Moroccan spice we use all the time. So I'm excited to see what these are like. Um, let's read the kefir lime blend and then we'll move on. So the, 
the deep green zesty leaf of the kefir lime ground into a fine powder is one of our favorite secret weapons for elevating a dish from good to great. We love sprinkling this kefir lime blend on ice cream, roasted nuts as a salad dressing base, or on top of a bowl of noodles or curry for a final citrusy burst. Interesting. So it's made out of the kefir lime powder, turmeric, palm sugar, and red chilies. So, that was the Raw Spice Bar. Definitely check them out at rawspicebar.com. Like I said, this is like a, a more, well, a less expensive, kind of more um, user-friendly sort of subscription box. doesn't require a really big investment, but you get a lot of cool ideas from it. So... We'll say goodbye to them for now. Thank you, Ross Spice Bar. Okay, so next up we have a Try the World box. Try the World is an awesome subscription box. They're um, not completely cheap in terms of price, but they have really cool stuff. I love this box. Um, they are basically what they sound like. There are different countries, different cities around the world and they give you a sampling of things from that area. So there have been, um, I've had, let's see, there's a Rome, Morocco, um, they, they do some that are like specific cities, some that are countries, so they've done like a Japan one, um, all kinds of different places, and really cool stuff in every box. Good value, I think. And this one is apparently the holiday box. Um, I did get one of these last year, and it was a little bit uh, different. I think it wasn't this size with the bow and everything. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first time I've seen a longer Try the World box. Usually they're like the same shape every time, um, which is okay because I use their boxes for all kinds of stuff. Their presentation is definitely one of the better of these subscription boxes. So. Uh, big fan of them. I do have an affiliate code with them. If you check the description, you can see that there. It's a affiliate program, so I get a small kickback when you order using that. I don't know if I've gotten any from them yet, um, any affiliate referrals, um, but either way, check them out because I'm a big fan. I've sent a few of these as gifts um, to my parents and other people because they make really good gifts. 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 <laughs> Tripping over my words. Okay, let's open this up. Last year I had Turkish Delight, so I'm crossing my fingers for that because I really like Turkish Delight. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. There's a little thing up here with the culture guide. Usually it's just on top. So every box comes with a culture guide that not only explains the items in the box, but gives other little tidbits about the culture that they represent, music, art, literature, things like that. So let's take a little peek here. I think this is an accordion style one. So definitely doing some different stuff with the holiday box. You can see here that it has the different co countries that are represented in this box. So definitely sampling kind of across the globe there. And then information about each of the different products inside. On the back we have basically three different categories. There's global desserts, winter tea time, and then peace on earth. There's a holiday playlist with songs from different traditions, Santa Lucia, um, Hanukkah, 
Christmas. Different stuff like that. From Sweden, Italy, Finland, UK, Canada, Israel, Morocco, Italy, Canada, Brazil. So definitely one of the more thoughtful, well put together boxes out there. And they always give good nest material, which you guys told me last time was called Excelsior, I believe. Let's see what we got here. So the first thing is catchy. Ooh. First thing that's catching my eye here is this. So this looks pretty Italian to me. Panettone Milano. So these are Panettoncino Classico. Sound like cookies or something like that? Let's consult the culture guide to see. So they are Panettone sweet bread loaf from Milan, traditionally marked with a cross by the head of the house as a good omen for the coming year. So these are made according to an age old time consuming process of soaking, leavening and baking. So they're just as good as the homemade version. These are made in Italy. So that's pretty cool. It feels like there's one loaf in there. It's soft, squishy. I think that's a little picture of it there, so it's like maybe chocolate on the outside and delicious cakiness on the inside. I'm excited for that. And here we have some, mm, some French truffles. Those are always good. These are just cocoa powder truffles, nothing too complicated. Truffles are great. Um, they're like almost fudgy sort of chocolate on the inside and dusted with cocoa powder on the outside. I'll probably try something from this box before I finish this unboxing. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to resist. Some olive oil. This is extra virgin olive oil. First cold pressed from Sindiana of Galilee. So this is from Israel. Never had olive oil from Israel before. I do go through a lot of olive oil. We do. Um, and we got a olive oil from the, I think there was a Spain box recently, a kind of the same size of olive oil in that box. And that actually saved us recently when we ran out of our main olive oil. So it's always good to have these on hand. So dried berry mix. These are just dried berries of different types. Let's see, we got finished lingonberry, cranberry from the USA, finished black currant, finished bilberry. Don't know what that is. Sunflower oil. Let's 
So that's pretty awesome. I'd probably use this with um, yogurt. Toss them into some Greek yogurt. That'd probably be good. Or oatmeal or something like that. Definitely probably use these for breakfast. And I think these are from, uh, what, Finland or something? Yeah, from Finland. Okay, next up we got some ginger snaps. These are orange flavored ginger snaps. If you're not familiar with ginger snaps, they're basically really thin baked cookies that have ginger flavor. They're really good. Um, awesome with tea or coffee or something like that. These are from Sweden, I believe. Yeah, traditionally baked in Sweden. Very simple recipe. Just wheat flour, sugar, um, vegetable oils of different types. Sodium bicarbonate, cloves, cinnamon, ginger, orange flavor, salt. Very good, I'll definitely eat those. These are little cookies. Let's see, we have uh, Orientines Puff Pastry Pure Butter Flavor. All they are made out of is wheat, flour, butter, sugar, and salt. Awesome. Little cookie things. I love this type of stuff. There's, um, in the U.S., we have uh, Girl Scout Cookies, which is like a group of, um, it's like an organization for girls, and they, uh, support themselves by selling cookies. Um, every year, and there's a certain cookie that's kind of like this, which I really like. We also have Ruby Red Restorative Winter Calming Tea by Tea Tonics. Feels. Can't tell if it's loose leaf or if there's bags in there. It's decadent rooibos and hibiscus with crushed vanilla pod and cacao to rejuvenate and restore. That sounds freaking delicious. Awesome. I like tea, so I'm excited about this. These are from the UK. I don't know if this has any caffeine or not. I know rooibos typically doesn't have caffeine, um, but I don't know about green rooibos versus red, and cacao does usually have some caffeine, so. Either way, stoked about it. And the last thing here, I think, yep, is some acai sauce. This is from Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. So it's, it's for ice creams, yogurts, and desserts. So basically like instead of caramel sauce or something like that, you could drizzle it on top. Probably also make some sauces out of it if you wanted to. This is ready to eat Brazilian acai topping made with acai, guarana, and banana. Pour it over cold ice creams, yogurts, granolas, or fruits. Must be refrigerated after opening. I'm not like a huge acai fan. I don't mind it, but some people are really crazy about it. I guess the acai craze was more popular a few years ago. It was kind of like the hot new super fruit sort of thing. But um, I guess.
guess now it's more like goji berries or something. I don't know. I don't keep up with that stuff. But acai is cool. So I'll try that out. I think I want to check out these cookies. Let's open these up and have one of these. It's just a foil package inside. Oh, they're tiny. <laughs> I didn't realize they were that small. These are like actual size on the package. It's a tiny little spiral things. Mm. They're good. They're, um, they're less sweet than I expected. Very flaky. Definitely puff pastry, like it says on there. A tiny bit salty. Mostly it just tastes like the pastry, though. It's got like a very light glaze of sugar, but that's it. They're good. Mm, okay, so that's what we have in the Try the World box. We got the butter cookies, the restorative tea, the acai sauce, ginger snaps, Olive oil from Israel, the panettone cake from Italy, French truffles, and the Finnish dried berries. Okay, up next we have two of the um, same brand boxes, but I asked for two different ones this time. So this is Flaviar, or Flaviar, I never know how to pronounce it. They're a subscription box that is based on different liquors, different alcohols. So this is for people that are of drinking age in their country. Please don't try to get it if you're not. <laughs> and um, they provide a really cool way to taste a variety of different things um, because they have little tasters of each different uh, liquor. So if you go to their website, you can see that there's a bunch of different types. You can get one for all scotch. You can get one for all bourbon whiskey. You can get one for rums, tequilas, different things like that. So what I have here is a five flavors of scotch and liquid gold. And the liquid gold is just a variety pack. So the five food flavors of Excuse me, the five flavors of scotch. I think my mouth is salivating just looking at these, which is why I'm stumbling over my words. The uh, five flavors of scotch is obviously just five different scotches, and that's a great one just for tasters. And I got the liquid gold because I wanted to use one of these in one or more of these in an upcoming mixology video. Um, they made sure to express that the things in the liquid gold package are meant to stand up on their own as tasters, that you don't need to mix them, but um, that it's possible to, you know, find good recipes as well. So check out Flaviar, Flaviar, sorry guys, <laughs> and um, check out their website and see the details there. Another one that's a great gift, love giving these away because People really, really like them as gifts. So they're basically like little test tubes, little vials of the taster. So they look like that. They come with, let's see, what are these? Um, 45 mils. And 
and they're they're nice little vials too. You can keep these if you really want to. They're glass with a little metal top. Really classy looking. Um, so each box comes with tasting instructions as well as a guide to the box that you have. So tasting instructions they talk about how it's a very special game. They give you a pre-flight checklist. Flight is a term that you use um, for, like this is a flight of scotch tastings. It's like a group of tastings. You can get a flight of wine, flight of whiskey, whatever. So they tell you, you know, that one pack is for three people for tasting. You get glasses and some water, um, unflavored crackers, snacks, and some food for pairing, <laughs> and something for music. And then they talk about the tasting, how to do it. So basically, start by Disguising the brand names, set up the tasting without the names. Then you try to find and name some of the flavors that you smell and taste and discuss it with your friends. And then you pair it with some food. And then you go to my bar, which is like on their website, I guess and rate the spirits that you tasted and get more of them if you want. So they talk about on the back as smart ass, the smart ass corner. I love this box. They like have a really good sense of humor. So they talk about the different qualities of liquor, appearance and color, smell or the nose, taste on the palate and the finish, spit or swallow. We don't spit, we swallow, and we encourage you to do the same. Um, adding water, some stronger single malt whiskeys, for example, require a few drops of water so they can release the aromas. Um, adding ice, in most cases, they say just don't use ice. It numbs the palate and inhibits the aromas. So, um, let's show you first the scotch pack. So they give Lafroig, is that how you say that? Froig quarter cask. And Scotch, for those of you who don't know, is basically just whiskey from Scotland. Um, whiskey covers a broad array of things. Um, there's bourbon, which is whiskey from Kentucky. There's um, Irish whiskey, which is whiskey from Ireland, Canadian whiskey from Canada, Scotch from Scotland, and you can make it in the style of either of those in any country, but typically the naming convention is based on the country that it's from. So we also have I don't want to say that Akintoshan Akintoshan 12 year old. I haven't had either of those. Singleton of Dufftown. Dude, that's mine right there. Dufftown. I should own that distillery. <laughs> and that's 15 year old. Good age there. I wonder if they included that one on purpose. <laughs> Log 11, Log 11, Log 11, Logavolin, Logavolin. I don't know how to say any of these. I'm not Scottish, I'm sorry. 16 year old. And then the Glenlivet, 18 year old, which I have had before. Some good stuff. These are great. So they have a description of all of these in the packet here, and they tell you more about each of the different 
each of the different tastings. Tells you about the appearance, color, the smell, the nose, the flavor, finish, and any other comments that they have. So you can kind of compare your notes to theirs when you're done tasting. So this one is a liquid gold pack. And like I said, this is a combination pack. So we got a lot of different things. We have the AE Door Cognac XO. I like cognac a lot. Cognac's a component of one of my favorite cocktails, which is the sidecar. I figure what the XO is. It's like extra something something. Let's see. forget what there what it's what it stands for it's like old like I don't know I thought like VSOP is like a very special old pale or something I don't know um, but cognac is great it's um, it's from France and uh, it's got a very unique taste if you haven't had it I definitely suggest trying it um, not cheap cognac. Definitely get something that's that's worth your time. So we also have a Knob Creek, nine-year-old. Knob Creek is bourbon, I believe. I've had them before. Then we have something, uh, a couple of things that I haven't had. Jacopo Poli Sluce della Vite. Obviously, it sounds Italian. I don't know what that is, though. Let me see here. Um, oh, it's Grappa. So this is Grappa, which is, um, I don't know what it's, it's like grape-based liquor. Hmm. Haven't tried that before, so that's new to me. Um, so the Grappa, and then we have the Talmore which sounds like an Irish whiskey. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, it's Scotland, okay. So it's a scotch. Highland malt. And then lastly, the um, El Dorado 21 year old special reserve. Ooh, that looks really good. And that must be a tequila. Or is that a rum? Might be a rum. Yeah, it's a rum. Over 300 Guyanese sugarcane producers got a bit carried away and formed a cooperative. <laughs> Nice. So, let's try one of these here, shall we? Alright, so what should I try? Got a taster glass here. Why don't we try the grappa, because I've never had that before. I'll just do a little bit. So the color, let's pour it in the glass first and I'll check it out. I'll do a proper tasting here. I love these little vials. Okay, so the color is like yellowish, kind of a, like like hay or straw. We get a smell from 
farther away. And I'm getting something grassy from it, like I said before, like straw, hay, that sort of thing. Not in a bad way, but that's the smell I'm getting on the nose. Let's try a tiny little sip, just wet my lips here. interesting it's like at first I was like this kind of tastes like a scotch but it's a little brighter than that and I'm getting a weird like almost licorice type note on the finish this is how people talk when they taste things <laughs> I know I sound like a jackass let's get a bigger sip now aerate it a little bit camera died so I charged it for a few minutes and try to finish up here before it dies on me again so I was just tasting the grappa so what I'd said so far just the color is light straw kind of color that um, at first it tasted a little scotch like but it's a bit brighter than that um, I said it had kind of a little bit of a licorice sort of flavor Kind of um not cinnamony but kind of spicy in, a, in an interesting sort of way so it's not really like anything i've tasted before it's pretty good definitely unique so let's check out the notes that they put in here and see how they line up to what i've noticed So what do they say? Appearance and color, straw yellow. Okay, so hay, straw, pretty much right on track for that. Um, smell, nose, aroma, penetrating aroma, green, vine, shoot, floral, violet. Well, didn't really get, didn't really get that. Um, I could see the floral, green, vine, shoot, that sort of thing. It has a little bit of a, like a bright citrusy sort of nose to me. Flavor and taste, dry but smooth. Harmonious, full-bodied floral and herbal anise character. So the anise is like a star anise that's like um, licorice flavored. So definitely I tasted that in there. It's not as strong in that sort of flavor as something like a, um, like a, um, what am I trying to say, absinthe or... Um, like a rock or anything like that um, but is that what's called raka? what's like the Turkish stuff? I don't know you know what I'm saying um, finish long lasting even hot intense finish yeah so that's the hot intense finish I was talking about kind of almost cinnamony okay so like I said that's a uh, Flaviar, stomach grumbling. <laughs> That's Flaviar, totally awesome box. Really fun if you want to get this and, you know, share it and do a tasting with some friends. Otherwise, you can just kind of sample, you know, over a, a little bit of time each of the different things that come in the box. They make really good gifts, like I said. Um, Christmas, Father's Day, Mother's Day, whatever. Um, lots of different varieties. And mostly I'm just excited to have another one of these to travel for myself. I love exploring different things and it's a great way to taste it without buying a full bottle because you don't always get the opportunity to do that. And a tasting, you know, like a few ounces at a restaurant of some of these is pretty expensive. So um, this is a really great way to do it. So like I said, check out the links in the description to see um, what they're all about. Really cool. And these, um, these do ship just fine. Um, as you can see, the box on this one 
probably see there it took a little bit of a beating but that had no effect on the um, samples inside so definitely safe in the travel and all you have to do is be home and sign for it at least in the US you have to sign for it to show you know that you're of drinking age um, but it's pretty cool that you can get alcohol shipped straight to your door like that <laughs> So that's Flaviar, and let's move on to the last one, which is the Loot Crate. Okay, so this is the Loot Crate. Like I said, this is the October 2015 Loot Crate, so a little behind on this, but I'll show it to you anyways. Um, if you want to get Loot Crate, go to lootcrate.com slash whisperloot. That's my affiliate um, link, and that will give me... A little kickback on any subscriptions that you get and give you a little discount on your first box. Loot Crate is something you're probably all familiar with by now, but it's a geek gamer um, subscription box with all kinds of, you know, different nerdy sort of things inside. So let's just dive in. Let's see what we got here. Oh, um, going to the link, Whisper Loot lootcrate.com slash whisperloot whisper loot. that doesn't give you the um, discount you got to use the coupon code whisperloot as well okay so this is the time themed box so recently we had the, um, the whole back to the future day thing that everybody freaked out about which was the date that well, I don't remember it was the date that Marty McFly goes forward to in Back to the Future 2, I think. Um, I, I love the Back to the Future movies. I'm not like a fanatic about them. I don't remember every single detail about them. They're good movies, though. My uh, Fun fact, my uncle on my dad's side, uh, up until just a few years ago, he had a DeLorean. <laughs> and those things are funny, man. They're like, they're not the best cars, you know? They're just really unique, and they're basically like, they're stainless steel, I think, on the outside. And so they're basically like a big, like, pot or pan. So he just cleans it with dish, he used to just clean it with dish, uh, dish soap. Um, they're pretty funny little things, though. The windows have like a little mini window in them. They're very, uh, I don't know, very different. <laughs> but anyways, enough about DeLoreans. Let's check out this. So, what we have here first is a Doc Brown pop figurine from Back to the Future. He has his uh, two power cables there with the electricity going between. Obviously, Marty McFly and a Doc Brown one. Another funny story. When I was a kid, I went to Universal Studios, and um, my stepfather at the time, well, he's still my stepfather now, but at the time, he uh, did the, they have like different little shows where they have audience participation, and he got to be Doc Brown, and he went up onto the clock tower, and had to say whatever he says, like 10,000 gigawatts or whatever he says, and puts the power cords together. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. They have a lot of these uh, pop figurine, the vinyl figurines in Loot Crate. I've given most of them away. I've kept a few. Um, but most of them I don't have too much space or use for, so this will probably be another one that I give away. Next we have a shirt. Loot Crate shirts have totally filled up my, my closet and I wear them all the time. Um, some of them I wear on like regular days and some of them I just wear to sleep, depending on their level of coolness. So this one says, be excellent to each other. And this is uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Definitely like a older skewed loot crate this time. Um, you yeah, know, Back to the Future, Bill and Ted, these aren't new movies. But I 
Ted. Really like Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted spoke his adventure, excellent adventure. <laughs> a lot of funny stuff in there. I wonder how it holds up. I haven't seen it in a long. I haven't seen either of the movies in a long time. I wonder if it's still funny. That's a pretty cool shirt though. I I could see myself wearing this. It's like. It kind of looks like a. It's really retro looking. Right on. So that's the t-shirt. And obviously there's a hoverboard, duh. So Back to the Future 2. A really cool box for that. You gotta love the branding there. I feel like I feel like I should send this to somebody. There's somebody that I could think of that really loves Back to the Future that I could probably send some of this to. This document certifies this 1.1 to 5 scale replica hoverboard. It was created by Quantum Mechanics Inc. under license from Universal Pictures ex exclusively for Loot Crate. That is a pretty sweet miniature, though. That's actually pretty cool. A die hard, uh, die hard fan would really love this. I think it's got like a, you can see the reflection on the bottom, so you can see the bottom of the board. <laughs> it's totally cool. Yeah, I'll keep this safe. Let's see if I can uh, give this to someone who would really, really like it. I really like it. I just can't see myself doing anything with it. Okay, next. <laughs> we have a uh... A Doctor Who item. I figured they would have to have some Doctor Who in here. I haven't seen any of the newest series, so excuse my ignorance there, but is this what he uses? A sonic spork? Or is this just like a funny sort of thing? I don't know. Does he use a sonic screwdriver and this is just a play on that? Either way, it's the Sonic Spork. Spork, obviously, combination of fork and spoon. Uh, this one, not one of the nicer Loot Crate items. It feels a little flimsy and cheap on the plastic part. Like it might not last so long. If you actually use it, that is. Um, looks pretty cool though. It's basically light, light plastic down here and full metal spork up there. I'll have to check out the Loot Crate magazine to see what they say about the spork. Oops. And then we have our pin, obviously, and this one has a flux capacitor on it. Every month they give you a pin to commemorate the loot crate that you got. And then of course there's the loot crate magazine which has the items as well as like news and um, interviews and stuff like that. I'm really annoyed, I lost a box. I lost one of my loot crates, and it's the one with the Los Pollos Hermanos um, apron in it. I really want to find it. Bill and Ted costume. Marty McFly costume. Stuff from the Mega Crate, which I 
can't get because I'm an affiliate and I wish I could. Some stuff from the doctor here. And <laughs> out of time. Something on the back here, what is this? Oh, uh, who's your doctor? A flowchart to figure out who your doctor is in the Doctor Who universe. <laughs> There's some uh, predictions about the future from Back to the Future 2 and how they lined up. Hoverboards. It says yep, kinda, or no. So we kind of have hoverboards. Jaws 19, definitely no. Drones in common use, yep. Flat screens and lots of TV channels, yep. Slang like Bojo and Lobo and Trinks, no. Biometric IDs, kinda. We're get, definitely getting there. Ubiquitous fax machines, definitely not. Video games without hands, without using your hands, yeah. Personal tech at the dinner table, I'm starting to, yeah. Flying cars, kinda. So let's see here. Sonic Spork. Just time traveling works up a mighty appetite, so what better way to snack your way across the eons than with Loot Crate's exclusive Sonic Screwdriver Spork? We rounded up a time spoon and a time fork that were wearing a bit thin and, and they regenerated much like the good doctor himself into the multifunctional utensil you see before you. Hand wash for years and years of eating enjoyment. Cool. So that was the loot crate. Um, let's see what they got in the box here. So the design inside the box is just a little uh, Bill and Ted vignette there. Um, so that was the loot crate. In my opinion, not one of the not one of the strongest loot crates. There have been some really great ones lately. This one's meh. Give it a six out of ten, seven out of ten. Some of the other ones have been pretty high up there. So you know, every subscription box has a meh month um, but that's the end of today's video so I hope you enjoyed the raw spice bar try the world Flaviar and loot crate as always all the links are in the description if you have any questions let me know I'll see you next time guys